Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Give us Mark chapter 4 from verse 26. Let me show you the three levels of stepping into your season of appearing. Mark chapter 4 from verse 26. Please look up everybody. Never forget this spiritual formula. We're about to pray. And he said, so is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed. Where? Into the ground. 27. And should sleep. <laughs> and rise up night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knoweth not is it in your bible there now here is the progression for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself now when it has to do with bringing forth fruit three levels first the blade then the air after that, the full-blown corn in the air. When you begin to step into seasons of greatness, everything will not happen at once. There are levels. First, the air. You will begin to see God honor you. There are politicians today, for instance, who started as local government chairman. When they won, they celebrated. And God told them, be careful. Don't stop here. There is still another height. And then maybe they went to state house of assembly and so on and so forth. And many are still on their way transiting. There are business people. I remember for some of you here, you will sit down and tell yourself, ah, I just made one million. And one million will look like forever for you. You are happy coming from your background. This is a miracle. And God says, celebrate. But a day will come, you will be feeding nations. A day will come, you will sign a million dollars, two million dollars and give nations. And they will ask you, how did it feel the first day? You say, I still can't remember. It was Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, dear friend and brother, who was sharing about the things that were happening to him that a time came in this nation when he was under his late pastor. Nobody knew anything about him. There are footballers who suffered as if God did not call them. Every club side pushed them away and they kept enduring. And when their season came, just one person looked at them and said, come. And that was it. They never returned again. We are going to pray. Let me share with you a story. Many years ago, I went to a place called Premier Hotel in Ibadan. When I went there, um, it was night and I didn't even have the money to pay for any place for accommodation. And I'm telling you, I said, God, what is this? I entered the place, looked around, you know, wonderful place. And I was seeing people and I could not pay for the place. I could not even pay for any place. Looking around, I was just hanging around. I couldn't hang out in inside so i was outside and then eventually i made up my mind i said i can't stay like this till morning there was a church somewhere i trekked and i found a church that was doing night vigil 
i join them to do that vigil so that i don't waste there's no need wasting time i tell you this and then a few years later i would go to preach within that region and right from i think it was from the airport or so i can't remember the whole story now i saw people greeting me protocol people with cars and they were leading me to my place of stay guess where they took me when i saw myself climbing that hill tears filled my eyes and i said oh god only a fool says there is no god when they dropped me there they took me to their highest suit and i was there i usually travel with my people and they were outside they were swimming there was a program in the evening you know but these guys were swimming playing table tennis and i was watching them from that place i said it's not your fault my dear people they were happy enjoying themselves by the pool and i was watching i said oh dear but what if be because of what happened at that moment i said you know what this ministry will just fold it that's all do you know how many people are cheering you in the spirit and saying for our sake don't give up we have been waiting for you do you know how many unborn children who are saying doctor you will be the consultant who will deliver me or in case it's cs make sure you keep giving your best do you know how many people who are saying businessman it is your scholarship that is going to raise me to have an encounter don't give up there are nameless faces in the spirit joining the angels to say you have come too far you have come too far apostle you don't know how many times i've failed do not worry there is something called failing forward look up if you enter a plane and the plane is moving and you go back to the back seat are you going backward is the plane moving forward even though inside the plane you are moving back overall are you going backward that's what we call failing forward there is failure as an event there is failure as a person i'm speaking here tonight to a man of god who went for a crusade saying god called you and you went there nobody was healed only one person was saved the people said don't ever tell us god called you again and you return back wondering or a prophet who prophesied 10 cases you got zero you didn't everything you saw was wrong and you are wondering lord did you really call me what of a businessman who five businesses you lost money you failed completely i bring you words of comfort in this kingdom there is something called the season of preparation and the season of appearing during your season of preparation you discover God you discover you you discover that rod that you will be using to do mighty things for the kingdom can I tell you this no matter how many times you fall don't throw that rod that is the rod that you will part the Red Sea with make sure by the time you get to the Red Sea you don't get there alone get there with your rod your rod can be your voice your rod can be your hands your rod can be your brain your rod can be your character everything that can help you today we thank god for the privilege of this rod he has so trained us to hold it was once the rod of moses but when he handed it over to god it became the rod of god never call the rod of moses again it is called the voice of you but when you hand it over to God, it's now called the voice of God. It will now sing songs that will go around the world. It will now preach messages that will go around the world. Be careful when you laugh at people who are in their seasons of training. You may be laughing at your destiny helper and bury your head in shame forever. There are people who laughed at young people thinking they will never rise. There are people who laughed at business people. Can, can I tell you this? Sometimes God allows people to witness your failure so that they will be the defenders of your greatness. They will say, no, 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 no. I saw this man of God. I knew when he held a crusade that nobody was there. I saw this business person. I, my mother even gave him 20 naira. Don't be ashamed of your season of tears. The scar on your hand today, you've heard me say it. What you are ashamed of today will become your symbol of honor tomorrow. Are you ready to pray? Let's stop here tonight.
please rise up on your feet please no moving around let me two or three minutes we are going to pray we are going to pray we are going to pray you are going to lift up your voice in the next two or three minutes and you are going to cry before the God of heaven you are going to tell him Lord I am in my season of preparation grant me grace grant me grace lift your voice and pray if someone pray grant me grace to discover you some of you are just starting in destiny God may not be talking to you about purpose God may not be talking to you about ministry he may not be talking to you about your assignment he will talk to you about himself he wants you to know him not your talent God first lift your voice and pray cry before the Lord your maker in the beginning God over my life so what will start as a ministry starts as an encounter with God what will start as a kingdom financing ministry will still start as God what will start as a kingdom political career still starts as God everything no matter what it is if it is in its beginning it is God pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline grant me the diligence may i not pamper myself may i not pamper my destiny let pain not be a a, a, a distraction let pain not constitute a limitation grant me the grace to endure like a faithful soldier building building my mind building my gifts building my mind building my value building my mind building my value is someone praying in my mind building my value this is a template that our fathers followed this is a template that our fathers gave us this is a template that scripture gives us we cannot compromise on the pattern pray for the season of tests oh that when God will prove me may I be faithful that when God will prove me may I have the stamina to remain ye who have continued with me ye who have continued with destiny I will finish my season of training with honor with nobility 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 hallelujah hear me now you are going to pray for sensitivity so that you will not be missing on the day the grace for appearance comes may it find you where god asks you to stay listen the devil can cheat you through offense the devil can cheat you through impatience the devil can cheat you through the manipulation of demonic spirits to not be where the grace for your season of appearance will find you i like you to pray and cry for grace sensitivity oh god to be where my lifting will meet me is someone pray Go ahead please pray this is the spiritual strategy for greatness this is the spiritual strategy in this kingdom there is no magic about how we rise this is the protocol non-emotional non-negotiable non-emotional non-negotiable
I obtain grace to be sensitive to the man that God will send when my season of appearing comes I will be sensitive to the instructions that come hallelujah hallelujah listen to me some of you before that season comes prepare your CV and keep it waiting so that if they ask for it in two minutes you can send what betides a man when your helpers call you say i'm not yet prepared that was a mistake of the five foolish virgins they were all virgins but what made some wise and foolish was some carried extra oil it was time the longevity of the time was what separated them just because you are among the virgins does not mean you will see the groomsman five carried extra oil they said peradventure we are stretched beyond time we will stay from this oil and the others did not and even though the bible still respects the fact that they were virgins it said they were foolish virgins so while you are praying sometimes the prayer you are praying is not for ministry again it's for the days when you will need to stand alone there are extra things god is giving you don't throw them away don't throw the extra oil there are them that sell if you don't see them on time the bible says when they went to buy there was a lamentation behold the bridegroom the season of appearing is come and they, they say everybody got up they lit their lamp and for others the oil was not there and they said sorry even though you have waited this long you have still missed the season go to them that sell and buy that means you can buy on time because in any case you will still buy be sure that you don't buy too late buy when you are young buy before children come buy before responsibilities come buy before preaching engagements occupy you buy oil buy lamb buy before your fame goes away build character build grace build stamina that's buying the oil can i tell you this I look at my life today and with every sense of respect sometimes I look at it and I say this this public life sometimes can be so distracting I will pass and see something that I like on the street I can't stop to buy it because both the person selling it and everybody there it will become something else once upon a time I had my liberty to live my life a day will come you will not have the time to do what you're doing I'm telling you Look how long we stay here. There was a time we had all the liberty. So when God is stretching you, see yourself as going to them that sell. Some of you, God is bringing you here. It may not be convenient. You come from very far. And God says, still come. Because a day will come, you may not even be in this country again. A day will come, you may not even be in Abuja again. But Elijah, you ate small, eat again. The journey is still far. please go back and listen to this message again go to koinonia global you will find it on youtube listen again and again and again take note of all these teachings that god has been bringing call somebody who you know is going through a season he does not understand tell him i have a message for you there is a spiritual strategy for greatness let this message explain to you the happenings in your life but as for me i made up my mind not to over celebrate realms because i know compared to where god is taking me and compared to where god is taking this ministry thank god for it but we are only starting i tell you this is not what i saw in the visions no you must insist till what god showed you comes to pass when god showed this we saw nations not a city so yours is to believe thank god for what god is doing across the globe but can I tell you as a great family of faith let us give God praise but let's not be too distracted there is a distraction that greatness and success at a level brings we can become full of ourselves koinonia God is doing ABC compared to the miraculous we are just playing child's play compared to levels of fire to change territories this is just this is still a school of the spirit stay with God and let him be done with you 
and you will see that you will send one word and it will shift the spiritual climate of nations i leave you with this word tonight therefore hear me the bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us then it says to run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking up to jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith modeling from him who for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross and despised the shame father we thank you for the privilege of coming to your house tonight in the name of jesus christ please would you give me one minute being that this um pastor came all the way to fellowship with us from goshen and we truly honor you alongside our fathers baba um abioye and bishop oyedepo these are fathers that i respect these are people who have brought us grace and it will not be a wise thing to just finish like this so please if i would just invite him to come and speak a blessing on behalf of goshen the grace upon living faith let's honor him as he comes Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a massive work. Let's celebrate Jesus one more time. I don't know about you. I'm blessed to be around at this point in time. The revival fire we are conducting here will last through your lifetime. Yeah. Every blessing declared today by his servant will stand the test of time in your life. Yeah. I join my faith with his servant, Apostle Joshua Selma. I pray over this house today that your desire is turned into a testimony. Yeah. Standing on the shoe of my father, Bishop David Olani Oedipo, Bishop David Abiyoye, I prophesize to your life, whatever is not working by the encounter of tonight, you will begin to walk. Yeah. I stand on the existing grace on this altar. What you left as consigned at tomb before you came here, at your return, it shall turn for you for a testimony. Yeah. That woman that is looking for the foot of the womb, your baby is on this altar tonight. Yeah. That application that you are long overdue for, for a miracle job, your appointment letter is on its way coming to you. Yeah. Every forces that make it work in the hand of our fathers in the faith, that same forces return home with you tonight. All your desire, your expectation. He says, Surely there is an hand, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. I prophesy to your life, your expectation shall not be cut off. Yeah. In Luke 21 13, as I drop the mic, he says, It shall turn for you for a testimony. Yeah. I don't know what is it, but I have good news for you. It shall turn for you for a testimony. Yeah. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate him. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please let me encourage you. We, I believe in the force of ingathering, just like we have learned from our fathers. And even though God has honored us, please hear me. I am very passionate about souls. And this is God's mandate for us. Can I encourage you? Don't say koinonia has crowds. This is not about crowd. Make sure that every time you come to church, please drag somebody and bring him to the house of the Lord. Many of you, when you hear these messages, you think about your family members and you think about your people. This is more than just trying to help a man of God to have this. This is not the idea at all. I must lend my voice and challenge you. 
be a soul winner if souls are not saved lives will not be changed a territory will not be transformed so commit yourself to the ministry of in gathering commit yourself to helping and letting people know and see jesus are we together now let them know god is changing lives and that you desire for them to be changed grant them access to the teachings it's a gift that you can give them there is a reason why it is free it has always been free so that the limitations of resources will be broken and you would have no excuse for your edification and make sure that you continue to grow and this word will keep building you in the name of jesus very quickly I want to make an altar call please let's minimize movement you have received the blessing you have heard the word some of you you are in your season of preparation and you are even yet to start or perhaps you started doing other things minus god please keep standing i know you've been standing let's stand we're almost wrapping up there are people here you came to church and you are saying apostle haven't heard you i know that i need jesus others you've given your life to jesus but you need to rededicate your life to jesus whether you are here in the overflow following from your home i am going to count one to five and give you an opportunity especially that you are within here please don't be ashamed don't wait for anyone to come before you i'd like you to boldly make that decision come to jesus he's giving you a new beginning are you ready one let's celebrate them as they come don't sit back if you are coming from the overflows please clear the way for them clear the way for them young and old all together god bless our daddy our father is coming god bless you is this how you celebrate salvation the wages of sin is death the bible says but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ his son keep coming win that war tonight you're saying apostle i'm tired of my life it's time for me to rise no one in my family has risen i know that i need jesus please come quickly i'm counting one to five and we'll be ready to pray if they are coming from outside around the pavement there or the balcony please come quickly join them very quickly two young and old come to jesus three keep coming jesus is calling you in the beginning god in the beginning god you can make that beginning start tonight or you can recycle seasons of defeat or failure in the beginning god four and finally five praise the name of the lord thank you thank you now all who are here and in the overflows just standing by your screen and those who are following from your homes your offices following from whatever tv station i want you to just um, while they are lifting their hands you would lift or stretch your hands also as an act of faith I salute every one of you for coming it is honorable to come to Jesus God bless you as you're still coming please join them very quickly please lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me mean it from the depth of your heart it's not a poem it's a declaration of faith that has spiritual implications say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification I declare from tonight and forever Jesus is my Savior my Lord and my King I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that i reign in life i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name please keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these ones you have brought them to yourself may the grace that keeps may that grace keep them in the name of jesus by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i declare that the lord grants you a new beginning the power of sin satan hell and the grave are broken over your life i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit by this i pray that you'll be established in the faith and even in righteousness in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you very carefully i want you to follow the counselors they are waving the placard please take note of the crane so that you don't enjoy yourself let's celebrate them as they go you will meet the counselors very briefly they'll have a word with you and you'll be back are you celebrating them hallelujah 
praise the lord all right very quickly thank you for your patience just um just one announcement tonight we're announcing that the public relations department hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you